came out. What if Punishment Martinez came out with The Undertaker as American Badass? Uh, that's a... Wouldn't that be a swerve that you're not expecting? And, uh, like, but, like, Undertaker doesn't wrestle. Like, Undertaker's purely, like, just there for, like, backup and clout and shit. They're, like, the new APA, but they don't really, like, only punish the wrestles. You know what I mean? Like, I they're just tough dudes. Fuck it. Yeah. Um, What do you want to do? Well, the Undertaker likes to, he, he likes to, like, bring smoke in his aura. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think we should bring the smoke now. We will bring the smoke. The following contest. <laughs> What is what, who the fuck was that guy? <laughs> who the fuck was that guy? <laughs> so in the smoke, we're gonna bring the smoke right here and talk about what you guys wanted to talk about. Um, you guys add us on Twitter, uh, and a lot of comments seem to be coming about stomping grounds. Stomping grounds is in two weeks, and it's developing into a fucking another rematch riddled show, right? Uh, Why man podcast. Uh, think WWE is building to a huge SummerSlam card because they're just treading water because of the Super Showdown and Stomping Ground shows are just rematch shows. Um, to that point, right, at Five Star Match also said Stomping Grounds is going to be a Super Showdown 2.0 because it is. It's all been a bunch of rematches, right? Um, like in case you forgot to watch and did yourself the favor of not watching Super Showdown, you can always catch it live right. on Stomping Grounds. Right and uh, shout out exactly. To, shout, out to, shout out to Lugs for that uh the logo. Oh man, that logo. <laughs> Lug, but, um, <laughs> um, at I thought Ritz that shit Edkin, was familiar. <laughs> he also was talking about um a big Summer Slam right to lead into Fox. Right, was we got to build that at who at the Rich Edkin. Right. Um, he hit us up right. Platinum ACV one uh, talked about like yo they just recently sent out fifty thousand surveys asking people. Like, oh, our fans, right? They're, they're subscribers. What do you think about the product? How can we be- get better? Blah, 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 blah. And they haven't and, read it yet. And, they, this they, is, and this is where we're at. Yo, that's embarrassing. That means your process does not things work. things to read, man. They got a lot of suggestions. Where the fuck is my survey? <laughs> <laughs> at Too Sweet Cosplay was like, um, I thought WWE was year-round. Why are we just doing repeats in the summer? You're right. We're just gonna, <laughs> we're just gonna, oh, yeah, uh, run that back real quick. Um, just like we do after WrestleMania every year. Um, and, uh, KC Dave 85 said that we should just call this rematch fest. <laughs> and you're absolutely right. Cause, uh, that's like all we're getting. That's all we're getting. We're just getting shit. a bunch of the same bullshit. That's why it felt like maybe we should have called it one of those sub pay-per-views that come out every year. Like back in the days, remember like insurrection or some shit, one of those Canadian or, or or UK pay-per-views, those spin-offs. In your house. Remember one night only where where Bulldogs, British Bulldog lost the European Championships to Shawn Michaels <laughs> before the fucking in-your-house pay-per-view and shit? Who? That was like... Who? <laughs> Who? 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 Who?